um, an experience that I had. I've told this many times on the air, but I'll, I'll share it real quick. Um, I was in a restaurant with my kids and, and we're one of my sons and, and Matt and overlooking a restaurant and um, sitting there, Matt got up to go to the restroom and I just, with my eyes, I was just watching him and all of a sudden my world just went pitch black. So I'm sitting like there and my, it's like everything just went dark, the darkest dark black. I knew my son was sitting there, I knew Matt was in the bathroom, I wasn't having this out of body thing. It was just, there was no fear. And it was, I was in the presence of God. Wow. Even though it was the darkest dark I've ever. And it was as if, um, it was as if I was the only soul that had ever been created and it was just me and God. And I heard him say to me, he said, what do you have to bring me? And all of a sudden, my life just flashed before my eyes. Everything that I had done, everything that I had experienced was like this world that really hadn't happened. It was just like a vapor. That vapor thing was just like what I was watching. And I remember that, and this is horrible. This is what affected me so badly, is that I saw the times of struggle. So I saw the times of wilderness, wilderness in my life. And I saw the fighting and I saw the complaining and I saw the struggle of life. And the times that I had leaned into the negative. And it was such wasted time. <laughs> and I felt that. I wow. thought, oh my God, I wasted those were wow. wasted times that I worried, <laughs> that I fretted about things. Feared. The, yeah. That I feared things. It, it was just wasted. <laughs> and the only times that I had, so, so the only thing that I had to bring God was the times that I stood in faith. <laughs> wow. And that I said wow. who he said he was. And in the circumstances that were just totally against me in my life. And I spoke not out of fear, not out of, 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 complaining. of complaining or insecurity, but I stood up and I said, no, that's not what the Word of God says. The Word of God says I am healed. The Word of God brings me joy. <laughs> this is my peace. This is my joy. This is my rock. Who He said He is. And that was the only thing that I had to give God when I got there. Wow. And, and the rest was such wasted time. And I, and I said to the Lord, I said, God, let me go back. When I get back, and, and again, I have to state this, I was, I, I was raised word of faith and you had to be careful. You watched what you said. The words of your mouth meant a lot. But it made me say in my heart to the Lord, and this took a long time for me to say, <laughs> to, to even say it. Well, say it the way that. we're talking about, bring the wilderness. Yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. It was like, God, for the rest of my time on earth, <laughs> bring it all. Bring the struggle. <laughs> bring those times that I have to stand in faith and be strong. Now, I don't want that. My flesh does not want that. But it was like bringing on the moments that, that I have nothing left but to stand strong in who you said you are. So that you so have that more. So that when I come back for eternity, I have a armload <laughs> of faith to give you and praise to give you. And that's the only thing that was asked of me from God. <laughs> that was all he wanted, was the times what that I reason? stood fa in faith and strong. That's what you're talking about tonight, to redefine a time and to speak who it is so that you get through this yeah. to accomplish something. So what if we do that? 